So in the market today, we have phones, we have tablets, we have phablets, and we also have phone tablets. So what is the Galaxy Mega with its 6.3 inch uh, display? Is this a phone? Is this a tablet? Is this a phone tablet? Or is this a device that's just for you? So let's jump into the review and find out. So let's go over some of the specs of the Mega again, which we cover in our, in our unboxing, but it's got a 6.3 inch 720p uh, display. So it's a high def display and the PPI ratio is a little lower, it's 223. So you will notice that while using it. Now it's got a physical home button. Uh, of course, this lights up to show you your menu and your back buttons. And as you can see, um, it's also got Android 4.2 with TouchWiz there. Front facing camera 1.9 and at the rear you have an 8 megapixel camera with flash. It doesn't have 13 megapixels that you expect uh, coming from the uh, Galaxy S4. Now it's got a 3200 milliamp battery and I will tell you this off the bat, the battery life is very very good on this device. You can get up to a full day of use and I pretty much that's what you need uh, with a smartphone nowadays and so I really enjoyed that you could do that with the Galaxy Mega. Uh, you can also expand the storage from 16 uh, with expandable storage up to 64 gigabytes with micro SD which of course is housed right there. So it's got that typical Samsung plastic black cover, which we can close up. And the one thing that's noticeably missing is actually an S Pen. Now with the Galaxy Note, you did have an S Pen and you would think the Mega would have one, but there is none because I guess it's opted for a much slimmer design here on this device. So you can see, I don't know, let me zoom in a little bit closer. What you find with the screen is a little washed, but it's still fine for a device like this, still able to see things quite well and quite clearly. Now, the main feature, of course, is that this is still a phone and phone calls handle very crisp and clear on the AT&T network. So you really have no issues there and you really can't default that it's a smartphone uh, before anything else and it can make calls quite clearly. Now up to some other features you find on the Mega. So the Mega has a couple of the, it has NFC built in S Beam. You also have some features like um, the smart screen and air view, but you don't have the gesture control. So some things are really not in there and I'm just surprised why. So you have some motion gestures, but some of the motion tilt gestures with the device, but you don't have the, um, some of the other uh, hand gestures you used to answer calls, change pictures and things like that. You do have air view control for information preview, progress, speed dial, and web magnification. So that's, you have those there and they work quite well, like really no issues with that. Uh, looking at what we have here, of course, is Android 4.2.2. So pretty much the latest version of Android because no one has 4.3 yet, even uh, Moto X doesn't have that. Now, uh, when it comes to certain aspects of this device, for instance, uh, we'll talk about fit and feel. So you can see it's very easy to slide in our Galaxy Mega into our pocket and it fits quite well. Now, um, it's still a little long and large, so it can be a little cumbersome at uh, times, but it can fit into your pocket uh, in there. Now, let's look at the camera. So it's got an eight megapixel camera in here and this is pretty much the camera you find in your Galaxy S3 um, has the camera features that you find except it doesn't have dual camera feature which I was surprised it didn't have that here but you can see the camera settings video settings move on we also have the mode so you still have the modes which is great that Samsung has added this as a general lineup to all your cameras so you take best shot auto HDR all that fun stuff in there but you don't have the dual camera feature and just take a quick look at some of the sample uh, videos and photos from this review so we have the mega here recording at 1080p of course doing some tracker for you the whole idea is just to give you the um, a sample of the video and the sound and how it captures. This basically and essentially is the same 8 megapixel camera you find on the Galaxy S3 and not the Galaxy S4 which is 13 megapixel camera. So you've got a um, lesser um, megapixel camera if you will but this is just a short sample size about 30 seconds or so and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let's uh, head back to the review.
Now, the other aspect of a device like this is that you, know, you can watch video on here and play games. Now, video on here is great, looks fantastic, it's pretty sharp, and um, it's just, just a nice display for watching videos, and you can see how well it looks and feels uh, as, as someone who would want to watch videos on devices large. Now, gaming here on here is a mixed bag. Now, uh, certain games, uh, for instance, like Modern Combat 4, uh, it's a little bit cumbersome uh, in at times because you get some slowdowns. Not that much, but you still get slowdowns because you've got a dual-core processor in here, not the quad-core processor with the Adreno uh, uh, GPU at 320. You don't have that, and you also have 1.5 gigs of RAM here. Uh, other games do handle well, something like Robot Unicorn, I have, didn't have much issues with, and it still handled well uh, overall. So I think I liked what I saw with the Galaxy Mega there. But overall, um, it's a very interesting device. Uh, it's got its unique qualities and quirks. Uh, in comparison to the Galaxy Note 2, you can see its size comparison there with the Note 2. And if we even wanted to push that a little further, just to show you how it compares the Galaxy S4 and you see that right there. So you can see the difference between the S4, the Mega and the Note 2 as it just ranges in size and graduation from 5, 5.5 to 6.3. And this is what you have here with this device. So let's go ahead and round up this review. So we spent the whole weekend uh, with the Galaxy Mega. It's got a 6.3 inch display and pretty much is a large device. Now we've seen comparison with the Galaxy Note 2. In terms of size, the Mega is really mega. It's pretty much the largest device right now that is a smartphone, uh, but it's not a tablet necessarily. Now, there's some parts of the Mega, of course, that do fall behind. It's got a slower processor, it's a dual core processor, and it doesn't have two gigs of RAM, it has 1.5 gigs of RAM. So you will notice slowdowns in certain areas, like gaming, for instance. Though it can handle most games quite well, you will notice certain slowdowns while gaming, and that's something that uh, is case in point. Now, as a faux tablet slash phablet, uh, the Mega works very well. You can see the screen size is great for watching video, you can watch whatever you want, and it really works well on that avenue. Now, as a phone, this is pretty big, but I do have big hands, so for me, it's not that cumbersome per se. Now, doesn't fit everyone and really isn't for everyone. I'm surprised that this device didn't come with a um, S Pen, which you would expect with uh, Samsung devices this large. There's no S Pen, and this is really geared towards the lower market crowd. Price range between 100 and 149, I believe. Uh, with a uh, with a AT and T, what you do get here is a device that literally, if you're looking for a tablet that has phone functionality, this is the device for you. If you're looking for a phablet, then the Galaxy Note 2 is really where it ends. I'm not going to ding this device, and a lot of people might say this is unnecessary and it's not something that's useful. But I really like the 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 Mega. I liked it for what it was. It was an entertainment tool, uh, especially for consuming media that wasn't super large. Again, I don't have to carry a tablet. I do have a phone that, as you saw, can fit in my pocket, can play games, and really is for a specific crowd. Not for everyone, but I do like the Mega, and I think this is a specific buy for the specific individual, and I do like what Samsung has done with this. So uh, if you have any questions or any comments, uh, let us know. Don't forget to subscribe to all our pages on Twitter. Facebook and YouTube uh, to support our work with tools. And also don't forget to just keep watching this video at the end. We have a link, of course, to our giveaway, which you can enter to win. So thank you and always enjoy entertainment. Also guys, don't forget to um, check out our 20,000 YouTube subscriber giveaway, which we have currently going on right now on the site. Uh, Basically, we have the link for the video. Just check it out, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and you're entered to win one very cool prizes, and we'll give out prizes once we hit a new thousand subscribers. Uh, it could be a day, it could be a week, whichever time it is, but just go ahead, leave a comment, tell your friends, subscribe to the channel, and enter to win. Thanks.